Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess yes, to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I, I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in, in my words and what, what I have done, done and what, and what I, have I have failed, failed to, to do through my fault, through my thought, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary Ever-Virgin, Ever all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. The Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, those sinners we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and presbyters, my brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you that through my mouth, the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God knows, and God who knows the heart bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we were able to, have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believed that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophet agree with this, as is written. After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord, who accomplishes these things from known from of old, it is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter 
to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Alleluia. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all people, his wondrous deeds. Alleluia. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I think our Lord gives us a simple prayer, simple meditation to remind ourselves throughout the day. Remain in my love. Just repeat it. Set, if it helps, set your watch every hour, and when it goes off, your alarm, remain in my love. Hear the Lord saying this. If there's a moment when you're feeling stressed, remain in my love. If you don't know what to do, how to answer a question, remain in my love. Temptation, remain in in my love. The one last thing I will say because the glorious thing of that is it presumes we're already there. That we make a choice at times to leave. So as long as we don't make that choice, remain in my love that we are with Christ as he was with his Father. with the prayer above all, that we never leave the side of Christ and always bear the courage and perseverance to remain with him, we bring our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For the church throughout the world, for Pope Francis, the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all the baptized in Christ, may remain in him 
throughout this day and throughout the days of all of our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the people of our nation choose on this day to remain within the commandments and love and inheritance of Christ, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have fled from their homes, especially the young and vulnerable, may the Lord send His archangel, Raphael, Gabriel, and Michael to be their protector and shield. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel the temptation and pull of addiction this day, May they remain free of those bonds of chains. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who die this day, especially in defense of the faith and testimony of Christ, may they receive reward in heaven for the faith and endurance they have shown in this life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this holy mass, for the eternal rest of John Platt. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most Heavenly Father, being one with your only begotten Son and never diverted, never separated from Him, you gave Him the command that He remain with us as He is in you. Help us throughout this day to accept his yoke, to accept his burden and commands, that we may be united with you, just as we are united with him, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his family church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, 
that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full holy, of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.